Yo, 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 it's your boy Jay Dunn. Listen, today we're diving deep into the brand new V69 update rolling out for the Meta Quest 2, Quest 3, and Quest Pro. This update is packed with features that is gonna change how you use your headset. So whether you're a VR pro or just getting started, you're gonna wanna stick around. Let's get into it. First up, starting in October, if you're hanging out in Horizon Worlds, working in Horizon Workrooms, or any Code Presence app, you'll need to be on V69. If you haven't updated, you'll be prompted before jumping back into your social VR life. So make sure you update early to keep vibing in the metaverse with your friends. Now next up is a big deal. You can now talk to Meta AI just by saying, hey Meta, how cool is that? You just turn it on in the Meta AI settings and boom, you've got a hands-free assistant ready to help you out while you're in VR. Need help mid-game or want to check something without taking your headset off? Just say, hey Meta, and get the instant answers. Next up, remember that cool window layout that some folks were testing in experimental settings? Well, it's official in V69. You can now manage your open windows and multitask like a boss, all within the headset. This is perfect if you love working in VR or just want a smoother way to switch between applications. I personally have been having fun testing this out and playing with this, just grabbing different windows, moving it around my space, and I just love that it basically makes the Quest more like a spatial computer. Now this next feature is huge for immersion, spatial audio. Imagine you've got a few windows open and instead of the sound just blasting through your headset, it's coming from the windows actual location in your space. So if you're watching a YouTube video on your left and you have a chat window open talking with your friends on the right, that's where you will hear the audio from. It makes everything feel so much more real and I'm so excited that we finally have this feature rolling out now. Now this next one is by far my favorite. Multitasking is in full effect in V69. You can keep up to three windows open while you're playing games or using apps. Picture this, you're in an immersive game but you wanna watch a YouTube video or chat with friends while pausing, you can do it all all while staying in your game. Just enable seamless multitasking in your experimental settings and you're good to go. Next up is something we have been wanting on the quest for a very, very long time, but just didn't have it. Raise your hand if your library sometimes on the quest is a little bit crowded. Well, V69 has your back. Now you can remove unwanted apps from your library for good. That means no more scrolling through old apps you don't use. Just hit remove from library and it's gone. I'm still waiting for this feature. This is one of the one features I cannot wait to get because I have like over 200 or something applications that I've either purchased or download and I would like to clean it up and just kind of get my list back clear. Now this next one is more of a game changer for convenience. You can now quickly pair your Bluetooth devices like headphones, keyboards, or controllers as soon as they're in pairing mode and close by. Your quest will pop up a notification and you'll be ready to go. No more digging through menus to get connected. And here's a little quality of life improvement. When you're just chilling in your Horizon home, the headset will automatically switch you into a stationary boundary. No more messing around with room scale when you're not in an immersive game. It's a small touch, but it makes everything so much smoother. And speaking of Horizon Home, get ready for the Oceanarium Horizon Home environment. This new environment will transform your home space into an underwater world where you can chill with sea turtles, manta rays, and even a whale. It's super relaxing and it looks stunning in VR. Definitely worth checking out when you need a break from the action. I have not received this particular environment yet, but I have been loving the latest environments coming out on the Quest platform. These things are gorgeous. So if the Oceanarium environment is anything like these, I cannot wait to jump in. And the last one we'll talk about is content adaptive backlight control. What does this mean for you? It means better contrast and longer battery life. It adjusts based on what you're looking at, so your screen always looks its best without draining the battery too quickly. Now, I haven't seen a switch on my headset yet for this. I don't know if this is just built into V69 or if it's gonna be something more to that. I will find out and get back with you guys, but that's really cool if it's gonna help with making the screen look better without also draining the battery. Well, there you have it, folks. That's everything inside of V69 update from hands free meta AI to spatial audio, seamless multitasking, and even full underwater worlds for your Horizon home. This update is packed with features that make your Quest headset even better. So make sure you update your device as soon as it drops this week and start exploring all the awesome new features. You know what else you should continue to explore? You know what else you should keep up with? Hmm? This channel. 
So why don't you subscribe? Why aren't you hitting the thumbs up? Why aren't you comment below? Let us know how much you enjoyed this content and hitting that bell notification so you can know the next time a video comes because I promise you we got a lot more content coming real soon. It's your boy Jay Dunn and I'll see you next time. Peace.